Hi, crafty friends. It is Thursday, September 7th. Um, I, I'm doing it. I said I would tape another video today, and here I am. Uh, I guess I should do an introduction. I haven't done this in so long. I can't remember what I do anymore. Hi, my name is Patty. Um, my pronouns are she, her. I am coming to you from the extreme east coast of Canada, the most north, um, uh, northeasterly point, almost the most northeasterly point in North America. Um, you would have seen a early North American, first sunrise in North America video uh, clip that I took this morning. It is a hot one. Uh, well, I mean, the temperature really is only 24, 25, but it feels like 38 or something outside. Um, so I think this is the first time I have ever had the air conditioner on in September. So it's gonna be an interesting um, weather-wise, and I know that this is the same for everybody. Weather-wise, 2023 has been incredible, good and bad. Um, so my, uh, I go, or I, my design for my cross-stitch business name is Four Boys and an NL Girl, New, NL standing for Newfoundland and Labrador. Four boys because I have three uh, sons and one husband. We live here, like I said, on the extreme east coast of Canada in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador on the island of Newfoundland, uh, very close to the capital of Newfoundland and Labrador in St. John's. Very close. Not We're not in St. John's, but we're close by. We live here with our two dogs, Blue, a geriatric beagle, and our almost two-year-old Border Collie Freya. We also have two calico rescue cats, um, short hair named Bella and a long hair named Angel. And both of these cats have been driving me nuts. <laughs> They're really good cats. So how do I say this? Their toileting habits leave something to be desired and it's getting a little bit worse and worse and, and sometimes I complain about that. Other than that, other than the fact that they can't always hit the litter box and uh, sorry, I don't know why I descended into grossness, but other than that, they're, they're lovely, uh, lovely um, pets. Um, Blue, I think I had said yesterday, my video is doing really well. Um, I had to go out for a few minutes this morning and he wasn't too impressed that I had left him home alone with Freya. Uh, I don't know if he knew Freya was here, actually, which may have been why he was a little bit anxious. Normally, if he's left with Freya, he's fine. Um, and I do have to run some errands later today, so I'm actually going to put them both down in the very cool garage. We have uh, a huge, big outer garage and then an inner garage that's attached to the house, and that's very cool. And we have two crates down there that we put the dogs in. As long as Blue can see Freya, perfectly content. Prior to Freya, if you put Blue in a crate, he would try and chew himself out, so... Um, this has given me a little bit more flexibility and him a little, a lot more peace of mind. Anyway, enough about that. This is floss tube. You hear from some stitchy goodness, which I'm going to talk about. And I'm also going to have a little tiny bit of knitting as well. Uh, also going to talk about a retreat that I host. So I'm going to go. I made notes. I made notes because I did. <laughs> uh, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the piece that I was working on yesterday. Thurza's Gone Goff um, by Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. I will put that information. You know, usually I put it on the screen. Maybe I'll put it on the screen and down below, but regardless, it'll at least be on the screen. I need to get better at putting a good description box in my videos. Um, most everyone else is really good at that, and I'm, I haven't kind of started doing that because when I started doing videos, that wasn't the done thing, and now it is. Uh, so I need to kind of up my game with that. So let's look at Thursa's Gone Goth. It's still on my beautiful lap frame. I didn't want to take it off. So this, if you haven't seen one before, is a Hearthside Craftworks lap frame. This is from available through evertote.com. Hi, Caroline. Caroline, her team at Evertote. John, her husband, makes the frames. This particular one is not from uh, made by John. This is from the original um, owners of Hearthside Craft. I have a, a floor frame though that was lovingly made by John and has pride of place in my corner over here. Um, so this one is, as I said, Thurza is gone goth. It's done, I am stitching it in DMC and it is on a 28 count Lugana. And you can see, so this is a slightly awkward, um, I kept going here along that, I kept going until my thread was finished and I even put in the middle of those little flowers. So that's 
that's done. And when I run my errands today, I'm running over to Michael's and hopefully I can pick up those other threads because not being able to finish that bird is driving me a little bit crazy. Um, so Brenna Needle Lugana, I cannot remember the name of this colorway. It's unfortunately no longer available. I'll see if I can dye up something again similar. I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Yeah, so there it is. This is three, four days worth of work. Um, I am going great guns with it. Don't know if I'll continue to go great guns or not because you know, life, uh, but I'm really pleased with how that's turning out. And I've, just to show you my needle minder again, it's from um, one of the, it's from a stitchy box in the winter. And it says, what does it say? Flock star stitcher, is that cute? <laughs> So there's that piece. So I don't know who started Sampler September. Um, feel free to reach out and let me know in a comment so that I can thank the person who started Sampler September. Uh, but in the cross stitch world, September means samplers. And I have a few on the go, so I thought I would concentrate on some. So Thursday is my new start sampler for September. I also have, uh, well, I've pulled from my pile. I have many samplers, whips. Um, but I pulled from my pile for two, one that I want to finish this month and one that I want to work on some more. So I want to show you those as well. The one that I want to finish this month is actually one of my designs. This was a design that I did in 20, 2020. So I'm finishing in 2023. It was started in 2020, 2021 or 2022. I can't remember. Sorry, I've slept since then. Um, but this is the Stitch North sampler from, and I'm sorry for the glare behind this. So this is um, a design that I had done. So you can see here under the bird, I still need to add this bird. I can't remember if I got to fix it or not, but this still needs the, uh, the stem, the branch. And then right now I'm working on the border. I've got one of these to put over here. And then this is finished. Oh, and I've got some more border over here to get done as well. And I love the quote on this. We are all travelers in the wilderness of this world and the best we can find in our travels is an honest friend. And that is a quote from Robert Louis Stevenson. So there you go. This is available through uh, evertote.com if you want a paper copy and I cannot remember if I have this on my website or not. I will check and if it's not up, then I will make sure it gets posted as well. Uh, it's a lovely sampler in terms of, <laughs> I know I'm bragging, sorry, it, but it's a great sampler. It's, it just uses three skeins, of uh, three colors, which so it's really nice if you wanna take it and change around the colors entirely, it would be great fun to do. So there you go. Oh, and I still see some border up here that I need to finish as well. So really border, branch, arrow and I think I should be able to finish this this month and I would love to get this then framed before Christmas and up on the wall that would be nice so that's that piece that's actually the first time I have seen it out I just took it out of the off the um, floor frame today so uh, it's kind of thrilling to see how much stitching has gotten done on that it's awesome the other um, the other uh, sampler that I'm working on in one of my Evertote uh, stitchy bags. I have a bit of a addiction for Evertote stitchy bags. <laughs> um, so this sampler is called, this is one that I started. It was the sampler September for 2021 called Mary Har Harry 1808. Um, this is a design by Modern Folk Embroidery. I had purchased the kit, so I have, uh, we're working on, it's Roxy Yarn Co. Floss and fabric. The name of the fabric is escaping me at the moment. I'll, I'll get it here in a second. The floss colors, as you can see, I think if you had listened or seen my video yesterday, I said that a lot of samplers that I do are very muted, they're very calm, and this would be a great example of that compared to Thursday Goes Goth let me just show you. There's a goes goth, goth where I, and I'm housing in yet another Evertote <laughs> bag, my floss. 
I mean, these are all gorgeous jewel primary colors compared to Mary Harry, which is a very equally beautiful, but very, very different, which is one of the reasons why I was drawn to the Thurza pattern. And I do have the fabric. Let me show you. I did do a fix. I had noticed I had made a mistake in this yesterday, the day before, so I took that out and fixed it. Uh, this is a linen color. It's called Back in the Saddle. It's a 28 count linen. Uh, it's a 15 by 17 cut. I have a random needle down here that I need to put on a needle minder. I don't know why that... Okay, and let me just show you the, my flosses, I'm horrible, I'm not horrible, but I'm very, uh, I'm not very kind to my cross stitch flosses and such. So this one, so these are, um, we're under the name Leo Roxy, now Roxy Floss Co. I know these are a mess, but you can see the palette is just even prettier in person as is usual. Plus this, <laughs> my goodness, Patty, it's embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I'm working on that. Here is the here is the back in the saddle and what I had done in 2021. Let me put something behind that. What I had done in 2021 when I started this. So here's the, just to give you a sense, here's how big the 15 by 17 is. And here is what I have done so far. So I had a mistake over here that I've taken out and now I've restarted. Um, haven't got, I mean, I've only, I might have 20 or 25 stitches in here. Not very much, uh, but enough to kind of get restarted. So on the actual pattern, I have half of this flower and then I'm working on the blue on the basket. Yeah. Not sure, I will probably, I know that this is Mary Harry and there's the initials and such were probably stitched or what Mary had stitched. I may change this to my name and put in my family tree here. Haven't decided yet what I'm doing with that. And that's something with samplers I struggle with sometimes whether or not I should, you know, if it's an antique reproduction, whether I should um, make any changes or do it exactly as is. But then I think there are no rules in cross stitch. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so that's what I will likely end up doing with that. Just gonna, excuse me, get these flosses put back in the bag. Four thirds of goes goth. And I'm gonna check my notes and see how I'm doing. Oh, sorry, I kicked you. <laughs> sorry about that. So I did, there's, um, we've done Mary Harry. We've done the Stitch North Sampler. Okay, next. Before I get into knitting, I have a segue. <laughs> um, so for anybody who's been here a little while, you may or may not know that I started hosting hand making. They started off as knitting retreats and now it's become hand making retreats called Knitlantica. I started in 2018 and they're hosted on Bell Island, which is a, a island about a 20 minute ferry ride just outside St. John's. So it's quite close to the airport. Um, so I have, I still have a bit of room in the September and October weekends. Uh, the weekends are September 22nd to the 24th and October 20th to the 22nd. Uh, for September, I still have a double room available and that's with a private bath that can be um, in a beautiful, beautiful house. So the, the way that the retreat runs is that we have, we eat at Gracie Joe's Cafe. There are two rooms above the cafe that are accommodations, those ones are taken. Uh, and then there are three or four houses around Lance Cove that we also use for accommodations. So the double that I have left is in one of the houses you'd still be sharing the actual house with um, other attendees. But so there's a double available if anybody's interested. Love to host you. And if you're wondering, should you rent a car, etc. If you're just coming for the weekend, I can help you out with transportation. So 
at least that cost will be a little bit less. So let me know. Um, you can reach out to me at uh, info at fourboysnlgirl.com. I'll put that uh, email address down at the bottom. The, the concept behind um, Atlantica is very much a joining to uh, bringing members strangers together to create a community of handmakers um we've got cross stitchers attending crocheters knitters rug hookers um you name it as long as it's handwork uh anybody is welcome to come to atlantica uh, and it's there's no classes or programming per se um the only thing you need is a good appetite the food is excellent um so the only one of the very few complaints I've had about Atlantic is that there's too much food <laughs> that it seems like you keep eating um, and I'm all about the food so the food has to be good and I work with Alfred who's the chef of Gracie Joe's and we have a great relationship and I think that um, passes down through to the retreat as well so if you're interested please do get in contact so one in September um, and then another one in October uh, and it's going to be a busy fall because um, this fall I have uh, an Atlantica. My husband's going to be away for a reunion. He's got his 30th uh, Royal Military College reunion um, in uh, this month as well. Next month, there's going to be. I'm going. I'm so very lucky to be attending Jacob Palooza in London, Ontario, with the Evertote team. Um, can't wait. That's going to be an absolute blast. And uh, I'm. St <laughs> I've started packing. I know it sounds ridiculous. So I've tried to figure out with the because i like to go carry on only and i'm trying to figure out if i can fit my lap frame into my suitcase and still bring all the clothes and everything i need to bring so like literally <laughs> i've started packing um and because as i mentioned yesterday i now have a cpap to also carry that may or i'm not sure i've got to check with air canada who i'm flying with to see if that counts as a third bag that you can bring or if that's your personal bag or uh, yeah i need to figure out how that works in the mix so um, yeah, anyway, like I said, I've already additioned the, uh, the lap frame itself. So the legs and everything does fit fine in my suitcase. Like it's, they're not too long. Uh, the scroll rods I would have to bring in a separate bag, uh, which again limits. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm bringing my lap frame is basically what I'm trying to say. I would like to, but I'm not sure I'm going to. And normally I am, I really stitch in hand more than I use my lap frames anyway. It's just with bigger pieces of fabric. I really prefer to use, um. I really prefer to use the lap frame. Um, I was just thinking that I could, I'm not going to, but uh, next time when I do my next video, I'll show you some of the little bit of stitching I got done over the summer because one of it was, I have been working on a modern folk embroidery Christmas piece that is turning out beautifully. I started at Stitch North this year and that's the one uh, I want to bring as my Jacob uh, Palooza uh, piece. To work on during the retreat is is the goal so i really need to get my stitch north sampler from two years ago done <laughs> okay what else what else am i missing oh i know so in atlantica was supposed to be a segue into i have a very sweet story to tell you um so our middle son who incidentally broke his arm this summer and got his cast off on uh tuesday so just before he went back to school anyway i digress um my lovely oldest uh, middle son um went uh with his my brother and sister-in-law and his cousin to florida for a week uh just here at the end of the summer and uh, he had an absolutely fantastic time one of the things and we had told him before he left you know don't spend your money on getting us presents just go and have fun he bought presents and i you know what i can't remember like the presents he brought us back were so thoughtful and awesome so i want to show you what my 14 year old son who brought back he found a yarn store close to one of the places they were visiting asked his aunt and uncle if he could go to the yarn store to buy something for mom and he picked up i'm i've already started knitting he picked up this gorgeous skein of hand dyed yarn i'll show you what i'm knitting in a second this is from but i gotta tell you who got to tell you more about the yarn um this is from bad sheep yarn and i'll put this in the uh information box down below as well the uh it was dyed in the in north pole alaska 
The name of the color is Rose Roseate Spoonbill. It is a 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon and it's DK weight. So I immediately thought cowl because I want this yarn to shine. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing. I'm so, he's so sweet. He also brought me back a stitch marker. Where have I put, you know what? I can't remember. When I find that, I, that terrible, I've put it somewhere safe. And I'm not sure where it is, but he brought back a stitch marker and it's a teeny tiny astronaut because he was along the um, coast near Cape Canaveral and they went to the Kennedy Space Center. And anyway, it was a very space themed kind of um, uh, trip and he had a blast and I got to reap in the luxury of this gorgeous yarn, which I am, and I'll put the pattern, a uh, picture of the pattern in. This is an Andrea, um, Andrea Moray, am I saying that right? uh pattern it is a cowl pattern and i have let's see can you see that it is the yarn is knitting up so gorgeous and squishy it is just beautiful and i may not have quite enough to finish the cowl but i've just got some cream dk that will go with this beautifully so i'll just finish it off with that i also have a little um stitch marker progress keeper here you're not normally uh, it's a just it's a stitch marker but i've left it on the um safety pin that it came on so that i can use it as a progress keeper and that beautiful little one is from rhubarb and honey who's on etsy who's also here in newfoundland labrador she's in labrador and i will put her information that pretty like it's just gorgeous i will put that information um in the description box as well so that you can have a look at um at her shop because she does amazing hand dyed yarn as well so the, isn't that sweet like for a 14 year old boy i was pretty impressed he also brought back my oldest son is really into ships he brought back a small model uh, of a pirate ship um my husband got a nasa ball cap and t-shirt he brought back um some art some uh kind of fossil memorabilia as well for his youngest brother who wants to be a paleontologist when he grows up so i'm mean, just very very thoughtful so i was very impressed with my child when he got back even though he wasn't supposed to spend the money it was really sweet of him um what's next before i go <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show you, and if, you, if you're if you on Facebook or Instagram with me, you would have seen this already. Two things to show you. One is that one of my designs is in the Halloween 2023 issue of Just Cross Stitch. I'll show you the pattern. It's called As the Raven Flies. This is the picture. That's my name. <laughs> I was just so excited to see my name my name in a publication anyway that's thrilling but i want to show you the actual piece working with cross just cross stitch on this piece was amazing they were so thoughtful and kind and it was a real back and forth in terms of the design a real collaborative effort and i really really enjoyed it so this is the piece in the flesh <laughs> this is the piece the real finished piece and I'm going to show you the um yeah so I finished it uh, I used some lovely pumpkin fabric in the back sewed it up and then I found this branch out in the woods and uh, spray painted it and thought it looked great for this Halloween piece there you go so I need to find out, as per the contract, when I can uh, release this on my shop. Right now it's available in the magazine, obviously, but uh, I'll let you know when this is actually released, when I can put it on my um, website as well for so you can buy a PDF. The other thing I want to show you is from so you need to if you don't know Lori Sykes from my crazy life you need to check out Lori uh Lori is a um force of nature <laughs> she's a she's a fantastic person and a force of nature she's just oh she's really Lori is really on the ball and I admire her energy <laughs> she had reached out to I think I think there's 12 designers I've got to count now um one two three 
maybe 11, 11 or 12 designers to create um, a cross stitch planner. And I was one of the, I'm gonna, one of the um, lucky designers to be asked. I was really, it was really sweet of Lori to think of me when she wanted designs for the cross stitch planner. So this is what it looks like. This is available here in Canada from Evertote and also available uh, from Colorado Cross Stitcher in the US. So it's for 2024. I love how on the back, see my crazy life, Lori, isn't that awesome? I'm not sure if that's gonna show up backwards. If it shows up backwards, I'll uh, put the information in. So I will sh I'll show you a little bit. I'm not, I'll, I can't show you most of, or any of the designs because they're all, the chart and the picture are all on the same page. But it starts off with this pretty, um, what's this called, a plate? I'm not sure what that's called. Anyway, to put your name and such on. It's got a monthly, you know, it's got usual planner things in the monthly so you can plan your month. And then the next page is a pattern. Then every month has a page for notes, sales, challenges, and finishes for yourself. Then it comes a pattern, which as I said, I won't show you. Um, I will actually, I'll post right here my, the picture of my pattern because I have a picture. The gold at the end of this cross stitch planner book, however, I think, and I've already started using it, is so right after the 2025, so there is a place for 2025, uh, a general place, there's, you get into the real heart of this book. So first there's a section for whips, new starts and plans. I've already started using this. I have never before tracked my cross stitch, but I wanna start trying. I watch um, uh, Stitchy Mommy, I watch uh, Bonnie, um, I watch, uh, I'll put, and I'll put, I'll put everybody's information who I mention uh, either at the bottom of the screen and in the description box. Uh, but I watch these floss tubers are so organized with the cross stitch and I am so not organized. I'd like to get a little bit more organized. So anyway, this is the start of mine. All I've put in here so far is the Thurza Gone Goth sampler and the Mary Harry one because I knew I started that one in 2021. So there's a couple pages of whips and new starts and there's just some blank pages for notes. But then this is the heart. Then it's got a section for retreats. And these can be virtual retreats or in-person retreats. So you've got your name, date, where, when you need to, when it goes on sale, um, your planes, trains, and automobiles information here. You've got your retreat cost and hotel confirmation, everything you're doing that week, a to-do list. You also have for each retreat section, you have a shopping list. Uh, for, you know, if you're gonna go to an MLS while you're there, an LNS, what I say, MLS? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to be an MLS lifeguard. <laughs> Stands for National Life Service. No, um, your local needle workshop. There's a packing list. This is a great idea. And I may start using this um, for a retreat that I'll tell you about another time that's coming up for me in January. Then you've got things that you can look up in the neighborhood and your table friends. That is so cool because you start off likely sitting, sitting down at a table where you don't know anybody and leaving with, you know, five, six, depending on how big the table is, new friends. Um, stitchy kindness, so you can keep track of that. And then graph paper if you want to do some of your own designing. And I think there's five or six of these retreat sections in here just brilliant so Lori, thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this if you don't have it already go have a look and um, maybe this is something you want to ask for for your fall birthday or for christmas and yeah i like i said i've already started using it it's a great you know it's nice uh, thick covers love the coil binder yeah great idea from Lori. really really like it and so so pleased to be asked have been asked to be a part of that I think, oh, let me check my list. Anything else? I've covered everything except plans. Oh, I need to put this back in here. So plans um, for September, concentrating on more, uh, getting samplers. So I wanna get Stitch North finished. 
more work done. If I get a quadrant finish of the four, so just one quadrant finished on uh, Thursday Goes Goth, I'd be thrilled. Um, and a little bit more work on Mary Harry. I'm not, I don't feel burning desire to finish Mary Harry, but I would love to get some more work done on it. And that's a great one to stitch in hand because it's smaller. Other than that, uh, like I said, I'll have a new design ready for you to look at next week. Uh, I will be able to let you know whether or not I can, or when I'll be releasing the um, As the Raven Flies. And yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing over the next week or so. Um, I think a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I was working, I was taking a punch needle, an Oxford certification punch needle course. I am gonna be doing some, for my, myself, I need to get my uh, punch needle done, uh, my homework done for the certification. So I'm gonna be working on that quite a bit over the next month as well. So there's gonna be a nice mix of, for me personally, punch needle and cross stitch. You may not see so much of the punch needle, unless you're interested, let me know if you are interested in seeing any of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm concentrating on. So between that and the house and the occasional blurb that comes up with school, um, that's what I'm going to be concentrating on over the next little while. My plan is, my other plan is to speak with you again soon. So until then, take care. I hope you have some crafty joy that you're um, involved in right now. Have a wonderful, we're having a very warm start to the fall. So have a wonderful fall and I will chat with you again soon. Bye.